Could you stand up inside? Uh, no, I have no. to squat down, but I can't stand on the 747 either. Were I have you, to, squat, I have to that, bend, bend down just a little bit. That's a good point. You need a lot more room to stand up. Were you nervous with Michael flying the plane? No, it's my third time with him flying, so I wasn't too nervous at all. I got a lot of confidence in him now. No turbulence? There was a little turbulence coming out of Scott. Still always is in the summer afternoon. It was David Johnson's first trip on the plane, and he didn't know I was flying, so I tapped him on the shoulder, and I said, you know who's flying? I am. He, <laughs> he, was, he was nervous to begin with. It was his first time in a small airplane. You, you have to be the only team president in the NFL who flies his own plane. I, probably. I think I am. <laughs> well, the, I, I, I don't know if we can even follow that up, but let's move on to the television show because I'm pretty excited about that, too. Uh, eight episodes. Have you guys seen any of them, Michael? I've seen them all. You've seen them all. Clayus, what about you? I've uh, seen one so far. That's it? Just one? I mean, you know, uh, you gave me access to it earlier today, and <laughs> I started watching right away. Um, some teams would be uncomfortable doing this during the season, Michael. Why, why did you feel okay to go ahead and green light this? Well, it was really a collaboration with NFL Films and with uh, Coach Arians and Steve Kime just talking about, okay, we want to tell the story. We want to take the helmets off and, and give a ch chance for uh, the stories to be told about our great players, the great people off the field and the amount of work uh, that goes into putting together a whole NFL season behind the scenes. So there were... Uh, you know, we wanted to have an all-access uh, opportunity for the fans to learn about our organization and the amount of work we were putting in, especially the players and coaches putting in to getting it done on the field. And the cameras were everywhere. How, how long did it take you to get used to that, Clayus? It didn't take very long. I mean, you know, once you got like maybe a week or two into the season, really the first week once you start trying to concentrate on winning games, you kind of forget the cameras are there because you, you got a goal, you're working really hard towards it. and. Everything else is just regular. And they're in meetings, they're in the locker room, they're in the huddle. They literally are everywhere, aren't they? Yeah, they set cameras up everywhere, so it's not like people are operating some of them, so you just forget they're there. And the ones that people are operating, you know, it took a little while to get used to, but it wasn't too bad. You know, we're, we're obviously in this era of reality TV. My co-host loves The Bachelorette. I've never seen the show myself, <laughs> but um, this, is, this is real life football, and in reality TV, sometimes stars are born. Uh, you guys have plenty of stars on the team. Give me somebody who we're going to become familiar with that we might not know uh, on, on a first name or household basis right now, class. Well, I mean, this is really as authentic as you get when it comes to being in a locker room. And um, I feel like everybody already kind of knows Tyron Matthew a little bit, but he's a star. And once this show goes on, I'm assuming that he's going to be, he's going to steal the show. He's going to steal the show a little bit? What do you think, Mike? I, I, I think Carson, I think Calais, David Johnson. A lot of people didn't know David. He was a, a rookie coming on. He's going to get a lot of attention. Uh, some of our coaching staff as well. we got a lot of characters around the Cardinals, and it's, it's going to be a lot of fun to see that, uh, how fans around the whole country get a chance th to learn about him. Were there guys that were a little camera shy initially? There were a few. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did they come around, or did they just run and hide every time they came? No, 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 no. I think they came around, and and uh, it was probably more the microphones than the cameras. Did you learn anything, Calais, about teammates or coaches from watching the episode that you watched that you didn't already know? There was an interesting story about almost drafting uh, Amir Abdullah, and uh, I'm so glad we didn't because I really like David Johnson. I think he's going to be, you know, probably a potential uh, Hall of Famer one day, in my opinion. Uh, so it's kind of cool that but I didn't really realize how close we were to drafting him and then realizing that David Johnson it was like our second dairy pick. But, man, I'm glad we went that way we did. And it, they, they go inside the draft room. That's kind of yeah. where it starts. It starts after uh, uh, Carson Palmer's injury, then takes you inside the draft room, then follows you around for the, for the entire season. Something that you learned. You watched every episode. I have. Uh, something I learned. I mean, they were just learning about uh, some of the different players, their families, uh, what they do at home, uh, you know, it, it, it's really cool. You learn a lot about everything. But there's, there's a shot, uh, I believe, in one of the early episodes of the gunshot wound in Chris Johnson's shoulder. And um, I hadn't seen that before until I saw it in the episode. So there's a lot of things that I got to learn uh, and got to get a chance to get to know different families uh, of the players and, and coaches. So it, it was a lot of fun. I forgot about that incident with, uh, with Chris Johnson. Surprises uh, around every turn in this series. And you guys are here for the premiere tonight at L.A. Live. I know you're no stranger to walking the red carpet, but this is going to be pretty <laughs> cool because you're one of the stars in this thing. Yeah, I've never walked the red carpet for a premiere for me before. So I'm, I'm really excited. It's my first time. It's going to be a good time, I hope. So you get to fly your own plane. That's you right. own your own team. You, you get to walk the red carpet. I mean, life is good to be Michael Bidwell. <laughs> well, you know, we want to get the ring, and that's what, <laughs> that's what we're determined to do in 2016. We fell short, obviously, in 2015, but we think we've had a great offseason. 
draft free agency and, and the things that we've done through OTAs now many camps complete. Uh, we feel like you know we're, we're you know it's it's a it's a it's a process. We still got to go to training camp and then start stacking up uh, all the building blocks to have that success and get to February. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be seeing you guys there in just a little while. We have to finish this show though. If, uh, if that's okay with you guys. So downtown L.A., L.A. Live, uh, the original series, All or Nothing, available exclusively on Amazon on July 1st. We're going to have more info and clips on the show at NFL.com slash All or Nothing, the premiere coming up in just a couple of hours. I will see you guys there. Very much looking forward to that.